some. Let's see, it's the middle of March now. Um, this video will be out later because this is going to be kind of a little bit of a longer process. But I wanted to show you um, this project that I'm starting now. We'll be finishing by the end of this video, um, which is tanning a deer hide. So last year I. Uh, I killed a snake and then I decided to skin it and try and make a snake skin and maybe use it for a wallet or something. And I'm not really sure what happened with that. I didn't really know what I was doing. It was kind of a spur of the moment. Hey, I have a snake. I guess I could skin it and do something with it. So I did a test piece and the test piece came out perfect. But the rest of it was like all like, I mean it was preserved, but it's all crinkly and I just can't get it to soften out. So, um, I don't know if this will actually work or not, but, you yeah, know, that's what trying things is for. Take those off so they stop glaring at you. Um, okay, so, <sighs> big kids are inside doing cooking class with daddy, and the baby's taking its nap which means I should have a good amount of time to get this started. So the thing with this uh, hide is I don't have a brain. So if you don't know anything about tanning skins, um, one of the best ways to do it is to use the brain and basically make like a brain soup kind of thing and soak it in it. And it uh, like the, the stuff in the brain, the chemicals or whatever you want to call them, uh, soften the hide and help to preserve it and whatnot. But uh, a friend of mine who does hunting gave this to me and the butcher didn't save the brain. So I've been looking around trying to find the best way to do it if you don't have a brain. And there's lots of different stuff and everybody basically agrees that uh, brain is the best option. There's some bottled stuff you can buy, but I didn't really want to do that. And I saw um, a thing that was using salt and alum. So I'm gonna try that. And I was wanting to make buckskin so I could make some moccasins or a bag or something. Um, but one, I'm not very confident in the fact that it's gonna come out great. And two, my friend said that um, it was a younger deer and the fur is really nice and soft. So I've decided that I'm going to leave the fur on it hopefully, unless it just starts falling out, but that would be different. Um, so I'm going to try and leave the fur on it, and then if it doesn't get real soft, I'll just use it for a rug. Like if it's a little bit stiff and not real soft and comfortable, I'll just use it for a rug. So that's my plan with this. Um, <clears throat> so first I have to flesh it, which means I have to make sure all the flesh is off of the skin. Um, you know, any tissue, sinew, muscle, meat, whatever, um, get as much of that off as possible. So I have two tools for that one. I have a fleshing knife. It's, it's got an edge on it. You can see it's got an edge, but it's really not very sharp, which is good because you don't want it to cut through the skin. And then I also have a clamshell because that's one of the kind of things that uh, Native Americans would traditionally use to flush it because it's got kind of a dull edge on it. So I'm going to use that for any small areas where I need better control and use this as a general tool. So I have those two. Um, I have gloves and an apron because if the baby wakes up I don't want to have to take five minutes to get myself all cleaned up before I go get him out of his bed. So that'll just make transitioning between this and daily life easier. Um, okay, so I have those and I have those. I have a container. This is, um, let's see, how big is this? This is an 18 gallon. You really don't need one this big. 10 gallons would be fine for a deer skin. But I couldn't find any 10 gallons that were cheaper than this 18 gallon. So I just got the bigger one. So I have this, it has a lid. Um, I have alum powder that I got on Amazon. Just, 
It doesn't have to be like organic or anything. Just, you know, the cheapest one you can find. This was cheap, but not like a 20 pound bag. So I got this one and a big box of pickling salt. Um, canning or pickling salt for preserving and pickling. Um, you don't want to eat like iodized salt or anything. And sea salt is way too expensive. So get some canning salt. Um, so I have those two. I have my container. Um, I will mix this later just because I can mix this when the kids are around. But I don't really want to flesh the deer skin while the kids are around. So um, this and this and water and make sure it's properly mixed together. I'll probably put some warm or hot water in there um, initially just to make sure it gets dissolved properly. I have those and uh, I have my deer skin which is in this bag um, which I haven't taken out and looked at yet because I just threw it in my freezer when I got it. So. It's in a secondary bag in here. You'll see that in a minute when I get to it. Um, well, it's still a little bit frozen in there. I took it out last night um, to make sure it was properly thawed, but I guess it's not quite done yet. So I'll have to, I guess I'll sit that in the sun for a minute while I finish this video. Um, so, when you flush something, you want to have uh, something to lay it on, and it's best if you have a smooth, medium-sized tree trunk, essentially, that you can, you won't be able to see my head, but you would want something about this big and round that you can lean against you, and you put your skin on top of it, and you can yeah, do that. But I don't have one. Sorry. And I thought, well, I'll go around, take a walk in the woods, see if I can find, you know, something. And I didn't find anything. So this is a little bit of experiment. I could probably do it on this as long as I'm careful of the edges. Um, but I have a nice smooth oval shaped metal trash can. So before I use the board, I'm going to try putting the can over the board to create that kind of a round shape. I don't know if it'll work. If it gets weird, I'll just take it off and go from there. Um, but yeah. So those are my tools. Um, let's see, am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. I think that's it. So, oh, I have a couple bricks, but they're not over here right now. So I'll tell you about that later, but basically when you put the skin in, you want to make sure that it stays completely submerged. So you want to kind of fold it so all the fur is on the inside and then uh, weight it down with like some rocks or some bricks. Uh, something that's not going to react in the salt. So um, since that deer skin is still a little bit frozen, I'll probably take it out of the bag and let it sit in the sun a bit um, so it can finish thawing out hopefully soon while I actually have time to do this. And um, then I will mix up the salt and the alum in the water while I'm waiting for that. So let's get started. Wish me luck. So I've got that all spread out and finished thawing. Um, I think part of the reason why it's still frozen and stuck is, one, it's not a super warm day and I had it in the shade. And there is actually a good amount of meat stuck up like near the shoulders, um, whatever you call the front leg, shoulder parts. Anyway, um, which is fine because then um, like there was one piece that I was able to get the edge of it and just pull it off the whole length of the leg um, Which is really the best way if you can uh, if you're doing it yourself um, if you Cut 
if you cut the flesh away from the hide, you'll either puncture the hide or you won't get it very clean. But if you pull the flesh away from the hide, um, you it just naturally, the flesh sticks together and separates easier. So you get a cleaner hide to work with. So if you're doing it yourself, pull it away, don't cut it. Um, so that's thawing out. While that's thawing out, I'm going to prep this solution. Um, I have alum and canning salt, and you want roughly one part alum to two parts salt, from what I understand. Everything I've read, that's about it. So I have one pound of alum, and I'm going to use two pounds of salt. That's four pound box. I'm just going to eyeball it to about halfway, because I don't feel like actually measuring it. It's not baking. It's not a big deal. So about one pound of alum, two pounds salt. Hopefully that'll be enough. I think it'll be fine. Um, and I'll probably add some hot water into it to help dissolve the salt. There are already flies starting to gather, which I shouldn't really be surprised about. Grasshoppers, too. Um, but it's starting to warm up nicely in the sun, so I think it's time to start uh, to get my gloves on and start getting to work on this. Because you don't want it to get too warm. I might have to move back over into the shade um, soon. But it, it looks like it's mostly thawed out now. a bit in the sun so I'm gonna move over to the shade um, just so the skin doesn't start drying out before I'm done but so far it's a lot of it's coming off really easily I haven't even really had to use my um, blushing knife yet so I'm gonna move over where it's not so sunny and keep on going of a close-up um, just as a little bit of a tip for you from one beginner to potentially another um, let me get my glove back on um, so for one I bought the fleshy knife specifically um, for this project and future projects uh, let's see let me get you as close as possible you can see this really good because uh, you can't see that really Whoop. that didn't work um okay so I think you'll be able to see that all right I flip it around there we go so if you find an edge and you start at an edge you can see uh, how it just 
kind of separates and if you can keep going with that edge it um, it makes it a lot easier you can pull this while you're scraping at it and honestly clamshell works just fine so if you've got clamshells I wouldn't even bother getting a flashing knife Let's scoot this over to the other side you can see there's a good chunk of meat left on here but it's still attached up here so I'm just gonna pull that away from the skin up here membrane off as much all the way to the edges as you can there's places where it's already kind of dried on or really thin but as much as possible all the way up to that edge and if you can keep it in one solid piece it comes off so much easier There's kind of a weird, <laughs> a weird layer of fat in between the skin and the flesh. So that I'll probably use the fleshy knife to sc scrape off just because it's wide and flat and I think it'll be a little bit easier. I'm surprised nobody's come out to see how this is going for me. I'm sure they'll be here later though. They're too busy cooking with their daddy. See, this part's still a little bit frozen. But I can work my way down. If you get it going, you can actually just use your hand, pull the top up, stick your fingers in, pull it away. Some places are a little bit more stuck. You have to have an edge. But I'm, I'm really surprised how easy this, this comes off. The skin always is, amazes me how it's like, it's just skin. Like, see it ripped there. But, just, hi, Gwenny. You're all done cooking. You gonna come see? Uh huh. Don't get too close. Oh. Why? Oh. Well, maybe we can have some for dinner. That interest you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mr. Howdy. What do you think, Ben? Why did they give it to you? Oh, because he didn't want it. How did they caught it? Mm, he shot it with an arrow, I think. I think he's fine. I'm Are you cold, fine. Finn? It's pretty nice in the sun. Who helped him what? Who helped him um, do the deer skin? Mm, a butcher. What? A butcher. Somebody who cuts meat. Did he help it? Huh? You guys can go play with daddy if you want. I mean, you can stay and watch if you want. Don't get too close. There's a pile of meat there. It is blood. Or it was blood. Well, I guess it still is, technically. Why do you do it with your 
What's your tummy? Because it holds it up. It's very heavy. All right, I'm, so I'm, I'm just about finished. Had to go in and get the baby. But I've got a little bit more on some edges. And then I'm going to uh, spray it and wash it off real good. Um, hasn't been too difficult. I have heard that you can just tack it somewhere and do all this with a power washer. Um, which my parents have a power washer. So, if I get another skin, I might try that sometime. But, I wanted to do it the good old fashioned way first. Well, as much as possible. Like I said, I don't have a brain, so I can't do that. But, basically. No touching, Warren. No, no touching.
Well, that's done. I'm all cleaned up in clean clothes and everything. It's in its tub. So every day for the next week, week and a half, I will kind of shake it, make sure the water doesn't stagnate, you know, mix it up a bit and make sure that the hide is still under the water. It was a lot harder to keep it under the water than I thought it was going to be. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm, I, I think it'll be okay. I've never done this before, obviously. I've never even seen it done in person. So I'm not really sure if I got um, enough of all like the fleshy bits off. I think I did, but I wasn't really sure. Give me a Um, So we'll see how that turns out. I might have to scrape it again. I don't know. Like I said, first time. Not really sure what I'm doing. But um, <clears throat> hopefully that'll work out. Around the uh, entry and exit wound areas, um, it was a little bit I think it's just because there was a wound there, like like the blood was more in the skin and it was already kind of dried up a bit. So I'll just have to wait and see how that turns out, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it and I'm excited to see how it turns out. So what are we doing for the next, well, let's see, today is Saturday. I'll probably wait until next Tuesday. Not, okay. Not the three day Tuesday, or not the next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. I don't think I have anything to do that day, and that'll be about a week and a half. Um, but I'll keep an eye on it. If it looks like it's done way before then and I have time, I'll go ahead and do it then. But. We'll see how it turns out. Some of the hair in spots was already kind of starting to slip a little bit. So I don't know. It might just end up being buckskin whether I want it to have the fur in it or not. But like I said, it's a first time thing. So you just got to play it by your finger. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's about it. We're going to clean up all my stuff, put things away. wait. So this will be episode one since it'll probably be long enough to be an episode one. And then um, next week will be episode two. And then if I have episode three, obviously that'll be after that. So we'll see how it all works out. But I'm really excited and hopefully it does work out. And either way, it's been a fun experience. So no loss. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, today will be a Monday when I post this, so I'll see you on probably Thursday with some homesteady stuff. And have a great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.